Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is a business mogul who once wrapped about a bottle of bub but is now releasing his own line of champagne. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. <laughs> Good to be back. Nice to have you back. Now, as, as, as we, we had you on almost exactly a year ago on yeah. the show. This is, this is 50 Cent Week here at Late Show every year. <laughs> we'll book you for next year right now. And as I said last time, I'm not entirely comfortable calling you 50 or Fitty, and so I, I call you Half Dollar Jackson. Yes, cool. That's, <laughs> anyone else call you that? No. Nah. That's just you and me. Okay, good. How were your holidays? Happy, happy, happy New Year! Well, and... It was pretty good. Like it, it started slow, like like around around Christmas. Like I wasn't getting anything, so you got no presents. I got me presents. <laughs> like, so you took care of you. Yeah, yeah. What did so... you? I, I, if it's not, if it's okay. You gotta ask what you got you. I, I went car shopping like at the last minute. Oh really? What did, yeah, you, what so did you? I got the the new Ferrari four eighty eight. The, the, I don't even know that there was a new Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> there was something wrong with the old one? The four, a 488, is that a good one? Yeah, it's a good one. I got the Lamborghini Aventador. I've got... heard of that, the Lamborghini Aventador. So you got a Ferrari and a Lamborghini. Yeah. You know you can't race yourself, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. And what else? And the Lamb... Uh, the, what's the name? The Rolls Royce? Oh, yeah, I've heard of that Cullinan. one. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of Rolls Royce did you get? The Cullinan, the new, the new truck, the Jeep. They have a Rolls Royce? Jeep. Jeep? SUV, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's... Uh-huh. So it's just three cars, huh? That's all you got yourself for Christmas? <laughs> I got the, the Dawn, the convertible Rolls Royce. You got two Rolls Royces? It was just... It just looked so good. I, I won it all. <laughs> I went in there... You got was... two Rolls Royces? Yeah, I got the convertible and the truck. You can't really... Summertime, the truck ain't gonna be as cool as it is now. <laughs> Did you do one of those things where you actually park them out in the driveway with big bows on it, and you wake up and act surprised? Exactly. <laughs> like in the commercial. Who, who did this for me? <laughs> did you give to anybody else? Did you give to anybody else? I gave away a lot of presents prior to that, but I didn't give them many cars. I'm not going okay. To... Cars yeah. are for you. How many cars yeah. do you have now, may I ask? Now, well, I had three cars before I went to go to get those. You only had three, and now you have more than doubled your car okay. allowance. Yeah. So now I'm going to move them like, to like a, a little bit in Atlanta, a little bit in New York, uh -huh. a little bit in L.A. Did and you buy yourself cool. some new houses, too, to put these cars in? I don't want a big house no more. I experienced that with the, the Tyson Mansion. I bought it. It's 55,000 square feet. Well, you bought Mike Tyson's mansion? I didn't know that. Yeah, and then you look down the hallway, and you go... Whenever you look down a hole in your house and you don't want to go down there? Because <laughs> like it's looking... so long? There you go. I don't care what's going on down there. I don't want to go over there, huh? Like... That's like The Shining. That's like a haunted house. Yeah, and then it was like, look, things would break because you didn't use it. So the house is so big that things would just fall apart because you hadn't been in the room? Because you didn't turn it on. Now the light is flickering. That's too big at, of a house. Yeah, you don't... Yeah. I didn't need it. I didn't you move need. your cars in to the house it's to a, live with you. It's a party, like, like a party space, an event space. You Do you throw good parties? I, I'm the best. I have... <laughs> and I'm, I'm not fishing here. I'm just saying that I've never been invited to one of your... Uh, <laughs> one of your parties, uh, half dollar. I just was in... <laughs> I did something in Monaco. You just was, did something in Monaco. Thud. Yeah, it was like Monaco, a huh? Cool little party out there in the south of France. I was doing it real big. It was like a different climate, different energy, you know. People like came on boats. They yeah. really they really was trying to like the south of France, I've never been. It's cool, it's really cool, man. Like yeah. What the, makes um, it? People say, like, oh, let's go to the south of France, like it's the best place to be in the world. No, it's just What's rich so nice? People. It's just, it's just rich, rich people, okay. <laughs> Different thing. Do you like rich people? Do you like hanging with rich people? I think rich people sometimes. can be boring sometimes. It is. You know, yeah. Sometimes you get the wrong rich people. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just like... How do you tell, and you would know better than I, how do you tell the right rich people from the wrong rich people? When, when, uh, when they talk to you, <laughs> you're in the right circle. Like, oh, okay. When they, so... they think in there, like, yeah, well, well who is it? Who is, the, who is this guy? 
I oh, that's the wrong rich people. Yeah, he's like snobby, and I'm like, I don't care. You got money, I got money too, fool. <laughs> right, right. Wow. You got kids? Yeah, well, yeah. Our yeah. Little guys hard to six. raise, hard to raise money. I mean, hard to raise kids when you've <laughs> hard to raise money. Hard to raise kids when you're like when you're super rich and you're going to the south of France and everything like that. It's well, everything's easier when you got money. <laughs> You that it. was a stupid question. That was a stupid yeah, like, question. <laughs> yes, you, you yes. It's, money does not buy happiness, but it does not drive it from your door necessarily. Right. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Yeah, you All have right. a nanny, in-house nanny type. Yeah. I got to get one of those. <laughs> you know, I, I understand. I don't know if I heard this from you last time, or I just read this. That you've got a crush on Helen Mirren. Yeah, she's sexy. She is. <laughs> She's very sexy. Yeah. Do you know, and I just, I'm not bragging here, I'm just speaking the truth. Do you know that I have made out with Helen Mirren? I saw, I saw she kissed you in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> was that hard for you to watch, knowing that you got a crush on Helen Mirren, but I'm I, kissing I just Helen was, Mirren? I was just wondering how your wife felt about that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let, let's find out. Jimmy, show it again. Let's see what's happening here. You see that? She knew what she was doing. She knows what she's doing. Yeah, she, she knows had, what she's doing. I did not know it was going to happen, by the different. way. It's different. It's like the older Hollywood thing. The older Hollywood it's a thing? Super confidence in there. Yeah. It makes him so sexy, it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, like when I, I ran into it, it was, actually it was the south of France. It was in Monaco. You ran into Helen Mirren in the south of France? Yeah. And I just saw her, but her husband was there. Like he was like on the side. <laughs> she needs to so, trade up. Yeah. She needs to yeah, trade yeah. up. You know, I was just I'm focused, man. I don't see nothing, I don't see none of that stuff, man. She needs to get herself a Rolls Royce. Hey, hey. You taught me how to beef last time you were here. Yeah, yeah. Who was I beefing with? Bobby Flay. That's yeah, how I started beef with Bobby Flay. But you didn't really Flay. start the beef because you're number one. So when you, number one, you got to wait for somebody to come or you appear to be a bully. That's what they be saying to me, call me the bully. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So when someone, someone beefs at you and then you deal with You let with them the say something like they're going to be number one and you, then you go, what, when? When I die? <laughs> I'm gonna write this down. I gotta write this stuff down. <laughs> you, know, you had a you had a beef with um or have a beef with Ja Rule? Yeah, it's an old school. That's an old school. But I understand school. that. But wait, I understand in October you did something to get back at Ja Rule. Yeah. And yeah. please tell the people what you did because I this is quite I, I bought like the first four rows in this concert. <laughs> you bought the first four rows in this concert? Yeah, there was like on Groupon for fifteen dollars. It wasn't a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> so you go on Groupon. Were you just on Groupon, or did you just no, like, see it, or did you hear was, that it was on Groupon? They were showing me the, the stuff on it, my sister and stuff, and I said, yo, they put concert tickets in? And I looked, and there's tickets was there. I was like, how much are the tickets? $15. I said, okay, give me the first four rows. How many, how many, how many seats is that? Like, it's got to be like 200 seats. It's done with like three thousand dollars. So when he came out, there's Fitting. nobody in the Fitting. first four rows of his concert. Now, now you got to test your showmanship. When you come and there ain't nobody in the front seat, <laughs> you got to still perform like everybody's here. I do not. You do not want to <laughs> with you. <laughs> that is. That is beautiful. Oh my God, it's beautiful.